You're watching KTVU Channel 2 News at 5, now in high definition. Finally, lasers can burn steel. They can help level your picture frames, and they can let doctors operate on the inside of your eyeball. But can the remarkable laser somehow stop you from hurting or cure disease? Some controversial claims prompted KTVU Health and Science Editor John Fowler to investigate. It's just light. A low-power red laser, sometimes called a cold laser. Exactly how it works is still debated, but therapists say it does work to relieve pain and speed healing. I would say the, the laser definitely helps speed up what would normally take much, much longer. An avid walker, 52-year-old Rena Paloff of Alameda, began having serious foot problems a few months ago. When I would get out of bed or when I would stand up, I, I would have to sort of hobble around. Why don't you go ahead and swing your feet up? Paloff saw Oakland physical therapist Nina Patterson, who recommended exercises and cold laser treatment. And she was having incredible pain in the balls of her feet. She had tried orthotics, she had tried different shoes. One theory is the cold laser simply opens up blood vessels. Another is it activates cells at the molecular level, triggering production of the cell's chemical fuel called ATP, in turn stopping spasms, inflammation, and swelling. You don't feel anything. I don't feel a thing. I just feel better afterwards. It just reduces the level of pain. Seven-time Tour de France winner Lance Armstrong reportedly used a cold laser every race day. The FDA approved it four years ago for investigational use as a pain reliever. Some studies show effectiveness, but not all. Curiously, anecdotal reports suggest the laser may stimulate endorphins to help smokers quit, may reduce scarring and help wound healing, and may boost insulin production in diabetics. We have not utilized it to its potential. It is incredibly effective. Researchers say they're preparing now for full-scale clinical trials treating diabetes. They say this low-level laser therapy appears to hold remarkable promise for treating a variety of diseases. Health and Science Editor John Fowler, KTVU, Channel 2 News. And that does it for us at 5, but much more coming up next at 6.